Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D rotating text in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with 30 seconds. Just click on OK. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new solid. So right click new solid and let's call this BG for background and let's change its color. So I'm going to give it a really nice blue color, something like this. After that, just click on OK. Now let's create our shape first. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and after that you can just simply draw a random rectangle. Now let's select the layer and search for size. And after that, I'm going to change the size to something like 800 by 200 something like this now you can select the shape layer and after that align it to the center of this comp if you are not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it now we can probably add our text so let's select the text tool and just click and you can type whatever you want i'm gonna type motion and it's completely up to you you can pick whatever font you want and let's align it to the center of the comp as well now let's move the anchor point to the center in order to do that just select the layer hold on the control key or command key on mac then just simply double click on this now we can select this layer press s and i am going to just simply scale this down something like this now both of these layers are done so we can select them and let's make them 3d first after that i'm going to change the color to something like green now we have to change the position of the text a little bit so for that let me just quickly switch to the left view now you can see that both the layers are at the same place but we actually want our text to be slightly ahead of the rectangle so in order to do that just simply select the layer press p and after that i'm going to set the z space to something like negative 0.4 just like that so now you can see that our text is like slightly ahead of the shape layer which is exactly what we want now we can switch back to the active camera now i'm going to select both of these layers and press ctrl d to duplicate them after that let's move the layers to the top now we can change the color to something like orange so that we can distinguish between them let me just quickly create a camera so that we can just move around the scene to get a better look. Now let's press C and let's move it something like this. Now let's just quickly select the text layer and let's parent it to the shape layer and do the same thing with this layer as well. Just parent it to the shape layer. Now we can select the top layer and let's press R for rotation. And I'm going to just simply rotate it by something like 90 degree. And after that, I'm going to select this layer and press P for position. And let's select the bottom shape layer and press P for position as well. First, I'm going to change its position. So I'm going to just move it a little bit ahead. So I'm going to set this to negative 400. And let's select the top shape layer. And I'm going to just simply subtract the negative 400 value from the X position something like this so now you can see that both of these are at the angle and let's quickly change its color so i'm going to make this black and let's select the text and i'm going to change its color to white and we can probably change our text to something like nation it's completely up to you you can type whatever you want now let's select bottom two layers and let's press ctrl d to du duplicate it one more time and let's place it on top of every layer after that we can select this press p for position and I'm going to just simply move it to this side. So this is probably 400 like this. Now we can select this, press R and I'm going to rotate it by 180 degree. So just change the Y position to 180. Now let's quickly add a null object. So right click new and let's add a null object and let's make it 3D as well. So you can see that right way it's in the middle of these layers. Now we can select all the shape layers and just parent it to the null object. And we can probably select the camera and let's press delete to delete the camera. Now we can select the null, press R and you can see that as I rotate the Y position, you can see that we have the text coming in. So this is basically what we are going to do is. So let's add a keyframe for Y rotation and let's zoom in and let's move to somewhere around one and a half second. And after that, I'm going to change the Y rotation to something like negative 90. And after that, let's move to three seconds. And let's change it back to negative 180. Now you can press N on the keyboard to trim the preview area. So now if I play back here, you can see we have this sort of animation. We can probably select this, press U and now let's add some easing to the keyframes. So you can select the keyframes, press F9. After that, let's go to the graph editor. Now if your graph looks different, then make sure you're in the edit speed graph, not the value graph. So just quickly select the 
graph and let's change it to look something like this so yeah i think this is looking fine this is completely experimental so now if i play back here you can see we have this sort of animation which is exactly what we want now the last step is to add the stretchy kind of look so in order to do that let's create a new solid and just click on ok now i'm going to apply gradient ramp on top of it just search for it and drag it onto this layer after that we can select this layer and probably move it to the very bottom now let's add a adjustment layer and on this one i'm going to apply time displacement so just search for time displacement and let's drag it onto this so we are going to change a couple of properties over here first i'm going to select our gradient layer which we just created and after that let's select the effects and mask now under the time displacement let's set this to 0.1 and time resolution you can set this to whatever you want but remember the higher the value is the slower the animation will be i'm going to set this to 500 for now and you can see that we are getting sort of look but it's not perfect because we have to tweak the gradient first so let me just quickly move this and you can see that we have this sort of gradient and let me just quickly change the resolution to quarter so that i can have a nice preview so let's select the gradient and i'm going to move the gradient endpoints closer to each other something like this and let's place this below all of these layers so that we can view it nicely so again let's select this and i'm going to just move them barely on top of our text something like this so here you can see that we have this really nice edge so if i play back here you can see we have this perfectly looped 3d rotating text and it's completely up to you you can play around with the text or colors whatever you want you can also play around with the time resolution and you can just lower it down so that you can have this boxy kind of look it's completely up to you you can just simply play around with these values just like this and you can also play around with the max displacement time to give you a really nice different results something like this so it's completely up to you you can play around with these values and you can get different results now the project file for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one